So in this example, we're going to be dealing with dividing rational expressions. So in order to do this problem, you're going to have to have knowledge of factoring. So please watch the videos that we made on factoring using the AC method. Okay, but let's get right into this video. Now, the first part that you want to do is you simply just want to try to factor both your numerator and denominator on both of your rational expressions here. Okay, so looking right here, I can pull out a greatest common factor between my two terms of x to the third power. So I'm going to rewrite that. I'll have x to the third power, and then in parentheses, I'm going to have x squared, right, minus 4. And I can even go further with this, because this here is a difference of two squares. So I can even factor this part here, so let's go ahead and do that. So x squared minus 4, well, we can factor that the following way. x minus 2 and x plus 2. Okay, there it is. Let's go ahead and do the denominator. So again, make sure you watch those videos using the AC method if you're unaware of how to factor. But just doing this out, we're going to get x minus 2 and x plus 1. Okay, so I just factored the quadratic here on my denominator. All right. Now here, right, we do have division, and we'll take care of that at the end. So I'm just going to write the division still. All right, so I'll write the operator. And then let's move on right here. We want to go ahead and try to factor this. So again, I can pull out a greatest common factor of x to the third. So x to the third, and then I'm left with x squared minus x minus 2, right? And if I look at this, right, well, this is exactly the same as what I had down here. So I'm going to factor this one as well as x minus 2 times x plus 1, okay? So again, I'm just going to rewrite this one so we can erase this because we can further factor it. So I'll get x minus 2, and then x plus 1. Okay, and we're almost done. Again, this here is going to be a difference of two squares. So we can write that as x plus 1 and x minus 1. So there it is completely factored, and now we have to take care of our operator. So we have division. This goes back to when we're dividing fractions, where we go to keep, change, and flip. So I'm going to keep my first fraction here. I'm then going to change this to multiplication. And then I'm going to flip. Again, this goes back to keep, change, flip when you're dividing fractions. So what I'm going to do, I'm simply just going to erase this top part here. And I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this. So we have right here x to the third. And then x minus 2, x plus 2 all over x minus 2, x plus 1. Now we're going to change this to multiplication, and we are going to flip. So right now we're going to have x plus 1, x minus 1, and then we'll have x to the third, x minus 2, and x plus 1. Okay. So now comes the easy part. You're simply just going to cancel out any common factors that you have on both the numerator and denominator. So for our example, I can see that I have an x minus 2 here and an x minus 2 here. So those are going to cancel, right? I also have an x plus 1 and an x plus 1. That cancels. I also have an x to the third and an x to the third. And it looks like at this point, I can't cancel anything else out. So I'm ready to write my final simplified answer here. So again, just going to erase this and writing it out, just going left to right, starting with the numerator, I have x plus two times x minus one. And now working on the denominator, again, going left to right, I have x minus two and then x plus one. Okay, so this here is going to be your final simplified answer. So you can go ahead and just box it in. All right, and that is it. Okay, so that is dividing rational expressions.